expressing yourself, having the ability to express yourself is, I think, just almost innate. And, you know, I find the way I like to express myself is with clay. All right, now I'll open it up. After I open it up, compress the sides and start the wall size a little bit. One of the important things to do is to kind of compress the clay in the bottom so I push the, the bottom of what's going to be the cup down a little bit. It's, it's, a, it's, an, it's an interesting process as you move from kind of just doing it as a hobby to doing it as I, I guess semi-professional. I mean it's not, I don't make my living at it but I do enjoy it. And uh, what it's meant in the long run is that I've been able to support my hobby with my sales. So I guess that's a pretty good measure of success. And ultimately, they said, you know, we need a, somebody to teach a class. Or I, I would sometimes come in and somebody say, I can't make it. Can you cover my class and teach the class tonight? So, okay. So I did that. And people seemed to think that was a good thing. So then they started saying, well, would you teach some classes? And, Okay, I taught teaching some classes, and so I've just kind of grown into it. That's pretty close to the height I want. Double check that with my gauge. This should be pretty close, I am. start with the same amount of clay. I weigh my clay and that way I'm going to be pretty close. I'm usually within about an eighth of an inch or so when I'm making sets. This is just a gauge to bring them in a little closer but I'm usually going to be pretty doggone close to the same size if I use the same amount of clay. It's all about developing maybe it's part of developing style so this is you uh So you get an octave range on that. I learned the whistles, so I started playing around with it. I thought that was an interesting genre, so I thought, what, what, what works for me? And uh, I just started playing with some of these things and uh, just, just kind of grew from there. So I, I've developed my own style and things, you know. It's, so and it's just a bigger chamber. So if you have a big bottle, you know how it's a low sound and a smaller, piece is going to have a higher sound. I, I was talking to the class and I, I was thinking about it, you know, between, you know, various classes and sessions and trainings and things like that, I've probably made over 2,500 whistles. So we'll see, this is parallel, okay? That's parallel. Straight in, not up, not down, straight. Working with kids, you know, I mean, you do like you know, 150, 200 at a, at a shot with, with kids a few times, and you, you build the numbers pretty fast. <laughs> you can see what it looks like on the inside. The cut is going to be, I'm going to try and leave this. I'm not going to cut into the clay behind that. I'm just going to cut up to where that, that wedge is. Like anyway, but it's, you know, and you do develop a degree of proficiency and efficiency <laughs> in, in the process. You know, I think, I mean, it's just, it's so cool. I mean, there's, there's people here. I mean, there's, there's folks from doctors and lawyers. There's people that are probably just hard scrabble, you know, it doesn't matter. I mean, people are brought here for the common element of they got to work with clay. And I think it is, I think that 
it's that whole piece about that expression and, and working with it, that tactile uh, feeling that you get. It's all interrelated to, to what, what makes clay work.